Hello, I am Sentimus Prime, and here I will be showing you how to build an Imperium Snap here using the parts from this Lego Ninjago set number 71790 Imperium Dragon Hunter Hound set. Now, first and foremost, I will be showing you the parts that are that are used to build this alternative build. Then I'll be showing you like a good bird's eye perspective of all the parts that you are going to need for this build. Come on, get in focus. Come on. Trying to get a good focus on it. There we go. So there's a good view, a decent view on that. Now, as usual, there are parts of the build that are basically pre-built. These are the parts that are going to be either built duplicate. These are the parts that are either duplicates of a part of the build or the mirror side of a part of the build like this is going to be mirror mirrored from the other side so i think you get the idea so without further ado let's start on this build and we're going to be starting off with the the basic like skeletal structure basically so, what we're going to do is we're going to take a simple 2x2 two two orange plate, take a couple of these Mixel socket joints, just tap them under on the underside of this plate. Make sure that the sockets are sticking out towards the sides. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take one of these maroon 2x3 plates and one of these like sand like sand like beige like ingot pieces and just place that onto the middle two studs of this plate then you're going to do that twice you see then what you're going to do is you're going to take this you're going to use two of these maroon studs and tab them into the great anti studs from the socket piece from the mixel sockets. You we'll do that for that side and for that side. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take this uh, gray round two by two with the axle hole through it. Then you're going to just place that in the on top on the middle to four studs. So you have this like little pyramid shape. Then we have that part of build ready to go. Then we'll build this back section. So we're going to take another one of these maroon 2x3s. We're going to attach this 2x2 two two black uh, plate with the ball joint. Then we're going to just stick this on top like so on top of the 2x3 like so then we'll take two more of these mixel socket joints and just uh, and just, uh, just uh, attach them onto these maroon studs attach like one side onto the maroon stud and then attach the other like so so you have them stick out the sides then what you do is you take this piece another one of these two by three and plates in orange then you just layer that on top press that on top then you take two more of these round two by two plates with the axle holes then you just layer them on top of the orange plates like so or actually not just like so you're gonna off center them a little bit so this one one of them is going to be 
uh, attached to the middle four studs and then the other t and then the other one is going to be like half attached with like two of them connected to the studs okay and have the one that's connected have the one that's offset facing away from the end with the ball joint just that then you take a one by six in black you attach the middle part you attach the middle two anti studs and attach them to the remaining two orange studs facing towards the ball joint like so then you have that part of the build ready to go then we're going to work on this little section so we're going to take this part okay it's this one by four plate plate that has the edges rounded off and with two two of the holes hollowed out okay we're gonna take two of these all right these maroon one two one by two rounded stud uh, plates that are rounded and with the holes like that so like you can just giving you a good look at that piece it's in maroon so you're going to attach two of them on the studs on each of the ends like so on the anti studs like that so that it's like that then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this mixel ball joint Attach another one of these one by two maroon pieces. Attach only one and attach it to this stud on this side, like so. Then we're gonna grab one of these little pieces with the angle to it, and we're gonna attach this onto here with the flat side facing toward facing away from the ball joint, like that. I'm gonna press that in there. See that it's like it's like attached to both studs right here, and you can see that's it's one of those like one of those type of plates. You're of course you're going to mirror this little build, and using that mirror the mirror counterpart of this piece on that mirror build, okay. Then what you're going to do is you're going to grab this and you're basically going to layer this on top. Attach the gray anti-stud on this side onto the maroon stud and attach the maroon anti-stud onto the black stud. Like so. Like that. Then you're going to do the same with the other side. Like so. Like that. Then what you're going to do is you're going to attach this mixel socket joint and attach it to these two studs like this with the socket joint facing out, outward like this. Okay, then what you're going to do is you're going to grab two more of these uh, two by two rounded plates and you're going to attach two of the anti-studs onto the studs, onto the exposed studs on this top half, on this top part of the build, like so. So you basically have that. Then you flip it over and you grab these little interesting pieces. They're like two plates hot, they're like two plates tall. They're in this like nougat color. They have a hole through them. They're interesting little parts. So basically what you're going to do with these is you're going to attach them to these like anti studs on you're going to attach them to the undersides of these rounded plates like you're going to attach them onto there like so so it's right so it's like right in the corner so you basically attach it over there so it's in the corner you're going to do that with the other piece so you have it like that. Now we have that part of the build done and ready. 
now we're going to work on the do, 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 the tail. Okay, so let's work on the tail. So let's start off with one of these. Should we, yeah, I think we should start off with one of these. The mixel socket joints. Then we'll take one of these pieces. This not the one of these not connect one of these snot pieces. You're gonna attach it onto the underside. You're gonna attach the black studs on the top to the anti studs on the bottom of this piece, like so. Then you're gonna grab two of these Among Us hinge pieces. Don't want to call them Among Us hinge pieces, but that's what everyone calls them, I guess. That's what everyone associates these pieces with, I guess. You're gonna attach the stud onto the anti stud of this knot piece like that and then attach the other side like that then what you do is you take this technique adapt adapt this technique adapting brick the brick to one by two black brick with the axle hole through it you're going to attach it to the two middle black studs on the side like so then what you do is you grab another one of these maroon 1x2, rounded 1x2s, and you attach it to the two studs of that brick, okay? Then you grab four, four of these awesome little spikes, then you attach them to the four holes of these studs. So, thing is when you attach these onto the holes, try to have it so it's like tilted so it's like tilted at like a 45 degree angle wait i'm gonna have to show you have it so it's like tilted on a 45 degree angle with the taller part with the like longer part of the spike pointing up towards the gray studs like that have the 45 degree angle having it point towards the gray part do the same with the other side Come on, focus, focus, focus. Thank you. Do the same with the other part of the spike. Then we do attach a couple more spikes and do the, basically the same thing. Okay. We attach it to the studs. Attach. Boom. We just plug those in and have it look like so. Then what you do is grab two of these textured pieces, have some of these two textured slopes, and attach one of the anti-studs that are under this elevated part, and attach it to the gray stud, like so. Boom. Then you attach the other one on the other stud. Then what you do is you grab one of these cool half one of these cool gold uh half pyramid pieces and attach it to the two black studs on each side like so and attach it like that so that the point so that the highest point is pa is pointing towards the socket and then there we basically have the tail done sweet now let's work let's work on like the base of like the shell, I guess. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab this part, this like large piece with like the edges on them. Grab a two by two orange plate. You attach it to these two, four studs right here. So they're the middle of these studs. So you just attach it to like the edge middle right there. Kind of like that. Then what you do is you grab three of these textured slopes and you attach the under the uh, anti studs to the studs on the over here on the edges. So you attach one like that so that the spikes are 
pointing so that the like texture is pointing away from the orange piece. Do the same with the other end, like so. And do the same on this side with the two studs on the middle, like so. Boom, like that. And then basically just build two of them like that. Okay, good. Then after that, we will work on like the armored like shell part of this build. So, we're going to grab two of these, two of these pieces. Don't worry, they're the same parts, they're just in a different angle. They're just in a different rotation. They're, they're the same parts. So basically line them up like so. Then we grab one of these awesomely textured pieces. Again, I really like this part. Then you attach this on these stud on the tops of these studs. So we flip them, flip this part over. So we grab this, we grab the studs, we attach it to the anti studs, like so. We line this end up with the with the like edge, like so. Have it so that these two studs studs are exposed, and have it to like. It bows out this way as you go up the like awesome textured piece. And then line up the other piece. Have it like so. Have it so that the curve so that it curves this way. And again the two studs have this so it has the two studs exposed as well. Don't worry about the empty gap. It's not really detrimental to anything it's just there so of course you're going to build another one of these okay so and then what you're going to do is you're going to actually line these two up and actually lock them together using two more of these like half pyramid pieces so you're going to attach these onto the two black studs that are closest to the gold parts like that have it so that the highest point is paint is pointing towards the the gold studs on, at the middle of course line this up attach this other part on this other side have it so that the high point is pointing towards the studs on the middle and then we have that part of the shell pretty much done okay next Let's work on the little, like, arm attachment thing. Why not? So we're going to take one of these, like, more vertical uh, mixel sockets. We're going to take this ratcheting, ver this, like, vertical ratcheting, like, hinge part. And you just attach this onto the, on top of the studs of the mixel part. Then you take this like, then you take, then you take this part, this like, this like a burnt orange co colored part, part, and just attach this onto the like clip right here, and have it so that's like clicking this way, and that have it so that the studs are pointing up the same direction as the studs on this part like that then you can go ahead and take this part this like slope piece but with a smooth but with a smooth top and so it looks like that you attach it onto this stud right here and have it so that when you're holding it up like this, you have it so that the overhang, you attach it so that the overhang is on the left, is like point, is like leaning over the left side of this little build. And then you flip it over and take another one of these maroon 1x2 rounded plates and just attach it to the anti stud here and this black anti-stud 
to basically lock that in place. All right, then you take another one of these uh, gold pyramid pieces. All right, you attach it to the two burnt orange studs, attach it like so, have it so that the high point is pointing towards the rest of the assembly, pointing towards the ratcheting hinge part. Then you rotate this up. Then what you do is you rotate it this way so that this thing, this like thing is pointing up. Then you take one of these cylind black cylinders and attach the stud onto the bottom anti-stud right here. Attach it like that. Actually, before you do that, you grab another one of these, <laughs> these one, one by two maroon rounded plates attach it on like that and then you take the black cylinder piece and attach it to the anti-stud okay then after that you take one of these lightsaber hilts have it so that this end with these with this like uh, have it so that the larger end is uh connected to the anti-stud and it doesn't really now you can rotate it like that or you can rotate it like that or like that. It doesn't really matter. You gotta just rotate it like that. Of course, you do mirror this build as well. This part. Alright, so you do mirror that. Next, we're going to work on the legs. So we're going to take another one of these black parts with the ball joint we're gonna take two of these maroon clip pieces we're gonna attach them to the two studs point that the two studs that are the further furthest point away from the ball joint and just attach two of these uh, maroon clip pieces on the on those two studs then you take another pyramid piece gold pyramid piece and have and attach it to the remaining two black studs with the uh, highest point paint pointing towards towards the maroon clips then you take one of these like length three like minifigure like lightsaber bar clip bar things they're they're length three i believe so you just uh, attach this you just clip this onto the clips. Clip the bars onto the clips. Clip, clip the bar onto the clips like that. Then after that, you can take three of these gold claw pieces. You're going to clip these onto that black bar. So attach, clip one onto the middle. Have it so that the curve so that the outer curve of this part is pointing away from the ball joint then after that you clip two more on the sides clip and clip then boom then after you finish that you can build three more just like it. you're going to build four of these and they're identical and they're going to be identical Okay, good. Next, we're going to build the head. Now, the head is pretty simple. So, for the head, you take one of these uh, one by two bricks with the axle hole. You use that axle hole using this mixel ball joint with the axle. You push the axle into there. You take another one of these snot pieces that we used on the tail. We attach the anti studs onto top of the studs of the brick like so then what we do is we take two of these black t slopes we attach them to these two, two stud to the two middle studs on the side have so one's attached like this so that's the high point of this t slope is pointing towards the middle and have it so that the other black t slope is pointing it has a high point pointing towards the other part so it makes like this like 
So I have that, so it makes like that triangular shape, you know? Then you take two of these tiny little like pyramid pieces and you attach those onto the remaining two studs on the sides. So boom and boom, you're gonna take two of those and like attach it like that. Boom, now you got the little face. Now let's work on the, like the top of the head. Like, so you take this maroon part, this maroon like a slope, textured slope. Then you take two more of these, uh, grab two more of these, mar two of these maroon cheese slopes, of these maroon colored cheese slopes. You attach them onto the top of the studs on this slope piece, like that, so that the both of their high points are pointing towards each other, like so. Then after that, you take these parts, these uh, mirrored parts, you line them up to make like this triangle with these four studs next to each other. Then you just line these up and attach this part on, you attach the anti-studs onto the black studs pointing towards like this flat surface, this flat surface of the triangle. Attach it like that, have it so it looks like that. Then you take another one of these parts with the another one of these half pyramid gold pyramid pieces with the attach it to the black remaining two black studs and attach it so that the high point is pointing towards the maroon parts. Then you just attach that this onto the two studs on top of this build. So to attach that you just attach the two studs onto the two and to the two black anti studs that are closest to the maroon part. So like that. And then after that we can quickly uh work we can quickly like put this together. We'll work on the flag last. So we'll take this part, take this piece, line it up, and clip that together like so, so that's the orange parts, the maroon parts, and the round gray parts are all lined up. And then we take this part, we attach these two anti studs onto the gray, onto the two maroon studs. These gray anti studs are going to attach to the orange studs and line up like so. Boom, now you have that. Then we'll take a side like this. We're going to line this up, have it so that the two studs up here are exposed, but there's also going to be a little bit of overhang back here. So boom, line up. We're going to line this one half up too. Boom. And under here, you're going to take these pieces, going to line them up so that they're in between the two sockets. Do that same thing with the other side. Then we'll take this part, just line it up over so that the so that the ends here attach to the studs on top. And boom, boom, and have it so that th this part is is lined. So have it so that these parts are lined up with the ball and socket joints. Boom, boom. Next, we're going to do is we're going to. Atta take these and attach them to the ball joints. Boom. Have it so that this part is pointing up. And boom. Okay. Then we're going to attach the legs. Like so. Have it so that the gold parts are pointing down. And just attach the ball onto the socket. Boom. Then do the same with the rest of these parts. Boom and boom. Attach the tail onto the ball joint at the back end, boom. Then we'll take the ball joint of the head and just attach it like so. And so you have that done. Now let's quickly work on the flag. 
So you take this cylinder piece, you tile it up with this part, then you'll take this gold rod piece, have it so that this like nub thing, you you put this through with this nub thing point down, then you attach this part technic piece on the top, then you take one more of these gold bar pieces, stick it into one of those holes, and then use the flag and clip it onto the black bar on top. Then after all said and done, you can attach this onto the gold studs on top of the build. And then finally, after all is said and done, you are done building the snap here, a snap here. And you can like uh, buy multiples of these sets and like army build these if you want. But with, with all is said and done, that'll be it for this video. If you enjoyed this build through, uh, consider to like and subscribe and maybe even comment if you want. And of course, I will be posting again sooner or later.